Hello, I'm Andy, and I'm going to read to you a program which I call Tarot Your Love Story, and this is for the month of April 2018, and it's for you coming from Capricorn. So let me pull the first card for you, and this is for the first 15 days, and I'll pull another card which is for the last 15 days. Your first 15 days, the card is not good for you at all. It warns you that a lot is going to go against you in the areas of love. Firstly, if you find a romance in the first 15 days of April, you coming from Capricorn, things are going to go very wrong. You will find something, the card says, but also that person comes with depression and unhappiness. So you may make a contact with somebody who is healing from already a painful experience. And so you'll have to be very kind to this person. So it's not a happy-go-lucky meeting. It's meeting somebody you'll have to nurse. And if you want to do that, well, fair enough. Your ongoing romance. The situation here shows is that unhappiness can be seen. So you'll have to be cautious that long-term views in your ongoing romance are not steady. So don't Put pressure on your romance partner about long-term plans and what you want long-term done and how you're going to cope with long-term things. Just for this first 15 days of April, talk short-term. Talk of today and tomorrow and day after and that would be enough. That way nothing can build up in terms of tension. So remember, lay off anything of planning long-term or demanding long-term. If you have a marriage, well, again, think temporary. The situation shows that long-term affairs are not steady. So if you start bringing up these long-term things in a marriage, depression sets in because your marriage partner is going to be of the opinion that long-term is going to be a bad future. So talk of the immediate future. Talk of the next 15 days. Talk of how to improve these next 15 days or the, at least for the next one or two months and not too far away. And that way you will be able to have a handle on control. All right, so, so go that way. Don't, don't start talking about long-term insecurity. Talk of short-term security. And that way this card, you can manage this card in a better way. Now, I'm going to talk to you later about your lucky dates and your lucky ages and your lucky colors and a lot, lot of stuff, so don't go away. Let's talk of your next 15 days, and there's quite a lot of improvement, I must say. But still, there is a lack of happiness, let me put it that way. So, it's your love story in the last 15 days, goes on in a better way in your last 15 days, but there is no happiness, there is no spark like that. So tell yourself, since it's you listening to me, find ways how to make your marriage partner and other family uh, involvement who are involved with you to make them happy. Plan things which are making people happy. Go out and bond and discuss bright things and dis purposely bring up the opportunities that are waiting for you and your marriage partner. You need to liven things up and things will be much better for you that way. Okay. Now, if you find a new romance in the last 15 days, as I said, you may find somebody who is not very happy and try to make that somebody happy. I'm not saying it's going to be a, a, a bad romance. In fact, it's going to be a long-term romance for you if you find it in the last 15 days. Somebody who is going to become better and better for you. At the same time, if you have an ongoing romance, try to look on the bright side of things and don't bring up about the difficulties that might appear in the long term. And if you are married, the same thing. Don't just bring up long-term insecurity. Talk of short-term insecurity. Okay? Now, I want to talk to you about your lucky dates. So that on these lucky dates I'm going to give you, you'll be able to get your love story in order because there will be planets on these lucky dates which will help you a great deal. And so your lucky dates are going to be the 6th, the 15th and the 24th of April. So wait for these dates when you want to discuss important things. Go out on these dates if you're looking for a new romance. 
go out on these days to bond with your romance or your marriage areas as well. I'm going to talk to you about your lucky ages. And the lucky ages I've chosen are if you happen to be 15 or 24 or 33 or 42 or 51 or 60 or 69, you're going to be one very lucky person in the area of love. And love or on, new love or ongoing love or marriage will be much easier for you to handle. So you'll be very lucky that way. If you're not of these ages, don't worry too much. You'll need to make a 90-minute session on Skype with me so that we'll discuss all areas of your life. We'll talk about that a bit later. Now I want to talk to you about your lucky colours. And the colour I've chosen for you is the colour turquoise. This card has, both cards have the signs of Venus, which is quite good news for you. And so the Venus rules the colour turquoise. So I would like you to wear a lot of turquoise undergarments, top garments, use turquoise, get a turquoise handkerchief and hold it. And all that will help you a great deal. So there we go. Now, next I want to talk to you about a zodiac sign that may cause trouble for you. And this is somebody who may be coming from Taurus. Because I see the sign of Taurus here. So somebody from Taurus, if you have this, somebody like that coming into your life in the form of a new partnership, you'll have to handle that person very carefully. And your ongoing romance partner or your ongoing um, marriage partner, also you'll have to handle them very carefully. If they are from Taurus, they are going to give you plenty of issues to worry about, especially the first 15 days. So be careful. Now, you may have a secret longing for somebody. And that secret longing will be for somebody from Gemini. So you are from Capricorn. And somebody from Gemini is going to show interest in you or you are going to show interest in somebody from Gemini. I make that as a very good contact for you and you'll be able to start getting things interested in. So if you know somebody from Gemini and you have interest, make your play. And if somebody from Gemini shows interest in you, be acceptable because it's going to be a good bonding as well. Okay. Well, I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50 for a 90 minute Skype session. And during this 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about all areas of your life. Not only the love story, job, business, finance and health as well and the love story as well. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, leave me a message, send me an email and based on your date of birth and time of birth and also looking at your palms and face reading you as well while we Skype, I'll be able to get your next seven, eight or nine years under your control and talk about month by month, calendar year by calendar year, what's going to happen to you and give you plenty of solutions of all kinds. And all that for just USD 50, 50. Well, until then, thank you and good luck.